Welcome to the Science Learning Center's guide of how to learn more and study less. This guide is based on six rules. Applying these rules will help you use the time that you have to study the most effectively so that your grades can be better and your understanding can be more complete. So let's get started with the first rule. Rule one, time spent studying does not equal learning. If you're not studying in a way that maximizes your efforts, you're really wasting time. So the question is, how do you study in such a way as to maximize your efforts? Well, that's what we're going to talk about now. The second rule says that the first thing you should do is to get an overall idea of what is going on before tackling the details. What we want to do is look at the chapter and get kind of a road map of how the chapter is laid out and what the important information is in the chapter. So how do we do that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to look through the first chapter of the Bio 107 textbook and I'm going to point out as I look through that what you need to be paying attention to as you read that chapter. Basically we're going to be looking at headings, bold words, and anything that's emphasized in the text. So let's get started. All right, so first of all, in this chapter, you're going to see that there are some key concepts that are written. Those key concepts are important. The author's gone to trouble to emphasize those. So those concepts are that themes connect the concepts of biology, evolution accounts for the unity and diversity of life, and scientists use two main forms of inquiry in their study of nature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start writing down everything that's emphasized in the text. I'm not going to read the entire chapter. I'm not going to read a section of the chapter. All I'm going to do is write down the headings. So I'm going to be writing down this heading. And as I'm scanning the text, I'm looking for bold words. There's one. Evolution, I'm going to write that down. Here's another one. Biology, I'm going to write that down. And I'm going to go through each section like this, writing down anything that's emphasized in the text. So here's a big diagram. The author's gone to a lot of trouble to explain this to you. So that means it's something that's going to be important. So as I start to write this down, I'm going to have a piece of paper that looks kind of like this. So you can see that I've written down the first theme, inquiring about the world of life, and then the two bold words, evolution and biology. Then I went and did the properties of life based on that figure, and I just wrote down the bold words. Order, evolutionary adaptation, a response to the environment, growth and development, regulation, energy processing, and reproduction. That figure says that these are properties that all of life has. So now, looking at the next page, I see that themes connect the concept of biology. Then I see in the next heading, evolution is the overarching theme of biology. The next heading, new properties emerge at each level of the biological hierarchy. 